So welcome to uh, OWF Web TV 2012. We are with uh, Simon Phipps, the president of uh, Open Source Initiative. Welcome, Simon. Thank you very much. So uh, the Open Source Initiative, what, what exactly uh, is, is the mission of Open Source Initiative and when, when was it started? So uh, the Open Source Initiative, that's OSI, uh, was formed in 1998. Uh, and its mission was to promote the idea of open source software and to provide ways by which people could uh, create open source software. Um, we focused initially on open source licensing. And so over the last 10 years, OSI has been known as the organization that approves open source licenses. Uh, but uh, we've recently realized that we need to move beyond that. So yes, exactly. So you've changed something. So what exactly, where, what is OSI transitioning to today? Well, we realized that our mission also included educating about open source and providing a bridge between communities. So we have decided to change the structure of OSI. Uh, for the last uh, 14 years, it has been a board of directors alone, just 10 directors looking after the activities of OSI. We've decided to make it a member organization. So uh, in the spring of 2012, we created affiliate membership and indeed, we have uh, OW2, we have uh, AFUL, the French uh, f uh, Open Source Users Association, are now affiliate members. Uh, during the summer this year, we started an individual member project. And then a little bit later in 2012, we're going to start a corporate member scheme. And the goal is to have all of the stakeholders in open source able to control the activities of OSI and its future destiny. Okay, so you b so it's it's obvious that you you uh, you count on new membership in order to take this forward. So why would someone want to join OSI? Okay, so we've had a number of organisations join OSI. Organisations like Debian, like Apple, like OW2, like Eclipse, like the Linux Foundation. They are joining, and I encourage other organisations to join as well. Uh, they are joining to show their support for open source as the way that software is created in a world of software freedom. Individuals are joining because they're supporters of open source, because they want to show that they support open source as an idea. Maybe they want to show their gratitude for many years of use of open source software. Uh, in return, we hope to give those members benefits that come from both our affiliate and particularly our corporate members. So we're going to be giving those people uh, free books, uh, discounts on conference membership, maybe discounts on hardware. Much more importantly though, we want those individuals to be able to propose projects to OSI that can be funded and staffed using OSI's resources. So maybe you feel that there should be a global mailing list for francophone uh, open source users. Maybe you believe that there should be a fund that helps developers attend open source conferences around the world. Both of those are the sort of projects that individual members could propose to OSI, gather others around them, and then execute and deliver those very valuable new ideas for open source. So those are the benefits that members are going to get from being in open source. Some personal things that are like gifts but mo most importantly, the ability to be empowered to make good things happen for the open source movement. So there really shouldn't be an option. Just everyone who believes in open source should join. So uh, we invite you to join uh, at the following link. Uh, open source initiative is opensource.org slash join. We are showing it right there as well on the screen. So don't wait and uh, just register. Well, thank you very much, uh, Simon, for uh, being with us and for all this information, and uh, good luck with new memberships. Thank you very much. I hope there's going to be a big French contingent. We hope so, too. Thank you. Thank you.